सो डियर फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन इट्स वेरी वेरी हार्टी वेलकम द स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव अटेंडेड माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर दे आर वेरी वेल यू नो वी हैव स्टार्टेड द स्टडी ऑफ फर्स्ट चैप्टर इन द रिवाइज सिलेबस ऑफ ट्वेल्थ दैट इज रिप्रोडक्शन इन लोअर एंड हायर प्लांट्स एज पर माई यूजल मेथड first of all we shall try to recall about our topics what we have studied last time you know that in very first lecture of this chapter first of all we have discussed about the meaning of this term what is reproduction then we have discussed about the need necessity significance or importance of reproduction and then actually we have started the study of types and sub types of reproduction all of you are aware that in plants so many different methods of reproduction are seen and they are broadly categorized into two main types such as asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction i have already told you what are the basic differences between asexual and sexual reproduction पहिल्या लेक्चरमध्ये असेक्शुअल आणि सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शनमध्ये मूलभूत फरक काय याचा आधीच आपला अभ्यास झालेला आहे अँड देन ऍक्च्युअली वी हॅव स्टार्टेड द स्टडी ऑफ असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन प्लांट्स इन लोअर ॲज वेल ॲज हायर प्लांट्स आय थिंक इन माय लास्ट लेक्चर वी हॅव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन सी इन लोअर प्लांट्स से फ्रॅगमेंटेशन बडिंग एंड स्पोरुलेशन लोअर प्लांट्समध्ये याचा अर्थ अलगी फंजाय यांच्यामध्ये असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शनच्या तीन प्रमुख पद्धतींचा आपण अभ्यास केलेला आहे सचाज फ्रॅगमेंटेशन बडिंग आणि स्पोरुलेशन देन वी हॅव स्टार्टेड द स्टडी ऑफ असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन हायर प्लांट्स दॅट इज से फ्लॉवरिंग प्लांट्स अँजिओस्कोप्स आय टोल्ड यू दॅट in higher plants in higher plants a sexual reproduction is carried out with the help of different vegetative plant parts in higher plants in flowering plants in angiosperms a sexual reproduction is carried out with the help of different vegetative plant parts such as root stem leaves buds etc and that's why in higher plants a sexual reproduction is also known as vegetative reproduction or vegetative propagation you all are aware about this term because in 11th we have studied about it now this vegetative propagation vegetative reproduction in higher plants is either carried out naturally or may be artificially in last lecture i have told you briefly natural vegetative propagation natural vegetative propagation in higher plants is carried out with the help of different modified structures such as modified roots modified stem modified leaf having adventitious buds on it last time by giving different examples already we have discussed about it याचा अर्थ हायर प्लांट्समध्ये अँजिओस्पर्म्समध्ये नॅचरल व्हेजिटेटिव्ह प्रोपोगेशन वेगवेगळ्या मॉडिफाईड रूट स्टेम लिव्स यांच्या मदतीने घडून आणलं जातं ते उदाहरणासहित आपण मागच्या वेळेला चर्चा केलेली आहे अँड नाव वी हॅव टू डिस्कस अबाउट द आर्टिफिशियल व्हेजिटेटिव्ह प्रोपोगेशन मागच्या वेळेला आपण याच ठिकाणी थांबलो होतो आर्टिफिशियल व्हेजिटेटिव्ह प्रोपोगेशन सो लेट अस स्टॉप about this topic artificial vegetative propagation in higher plants name itself indicate artificial vegetative propagation means these are man made methods of vegetative propagation man made methods of vegetative propagation 
actually there are four main ways of artificial vegetative propagation krutrim ritine manava marfat kele janara shakiya prajananacha ekun char pramukh paddhati ahet first of all let me tell you orally tondi adi sangto first cutting second layering third grafting and fourth tissue culture i am going to repeat once again there are four main ways of artificial vegetative propagation such as first cutting second layering third grafting and fourth tissue culture now out of these four methods the layering this method of artificial vegetative propagation is not mentioned in our revised syllabus and therefore also i am not going to talk about that method so remaining three methods cutting grafting and tissue culture so let us start the study of first artificial method of vegetative propagation that is cutting 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 it is the method of artificial vegetative propagation it is considered as the simplest and primitive method simplest and primitive way of artificial vegetative propagation in this method in this method a small piece of any vegetative plant part small piece of any vegetative plant part vegetative plant part means either a small piece of root or a small piece of stem or a small piece of leaf having buds on it is used for vegetative propagation mala vatta aplyala kalala asel mi kay mhatlo arthat ya paddhati madhe tya vanaspati cha jacha aplyala propagation karaycha hai tya vanaspati cha ek tar root stem kiwa leaf cha lahan sa piece lahan sa tukda fragment हा त्या ठिकाणी प्रपोगेशन साठी वापरला जातो की ज्यावर ऍडव्हान्टेजियस बर्ड्स आहेत सो व्हेरी सिंपल कटिंग्स इट इज द मेथड ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल व्हेजिटेटिव प्रपोगेशन इन व्हिच स्मॉल पीस ऑफ रूट स्टेम और लीफ इज यूज्ड फॉर व्हेजिटेटिव प्रपोगेशन मोस्टली द लीफ कटिंग लीफ कटिंग is employed in plants bryophyllum a very typical example bryophyllum another example begonia so in such plants that is bryophyllum or begonia leaf cutting that is a small piece of leaf having bud on it used for vegetative propagation the root cuttings root cuttings are used for vegetative propagation in certain plants a typical example i would like to tell you that is of tamarind tamarind it means in tamarind a small piece of root with adventitious bud is used for vegetative propagation artificial vegetative propagation but the stem cuttings it is the most common way it is the most common i will say method used for artificial vegetative propagation stem cutting name itself indicate what does it mean <clears throat> it is frequently used method frequently used method now in stem cutting a small piece of mature plant showing most of the desirable character is cut off separated from the parent plant body during stem cutting a small piece having the length of about 20 to 30 cm having length of 20 to 30 cm and thickness near about we can say 1.5 to 2.5 cm is cut off from the parent plant and the buds on that cutting on that stem cutting are kept intact means just consider here is supposed to be any parent plant just imagine here is supposed to be any parent plant 
and its vegetative propagation is to be carried out. Some of the other things are the parent plant. And yes, up there, stem cutting some of the thing, vegetative propagation. Good on I said, the kaikel is very simple. Ya parent plant cha stem sa lahan sa piece ha cut ke la zai jayachi length sarva sadharan 20 to 30 centimeter la zai ya stem cutting over sarva sadharan pane apad manu ya ki don te ki nodes a sa vet aani tower burst jaya hai te intact ta shi cha ta se ta asle pahe jay now this stem cutting this stem cutting is Planted in soil in its natural position. Try to understand. This stem cutting is planted in soil in its natural position. Natural position means what? The upper part of that stem cutting, the upper part of that stem cutting is kept above the soil and lower part of that stem cutting is planted. It is placed into the soil. Or we can say quick root formation. During stem cutting, different factors are to be considered. Stem cutting karatastana vegvegre factors consider karavilakta. The first and most important that is the characters of parent plant. Very obvious, we can bring about the propagation of such plant showing desirable character. Artha ja vanaspati madhe samlyat samle gundar mahe. Commercially important character se, that's what's upon propagation karna. Ma, that he can selection asha plant se kill as other, ki jamade commercially important character se. Tachananta, age of the parent plant. Age of the parent plant. That's our that parent plant should not be very young, should not be very old. Tisra mudda, the length and thickness of the stem cutting is also to be considered. And most important, that is the season. Because you know the rainy season is considered as the most favorable season for stem cutting. Now, sometimes during stem cutting, the lower part of the stem cutting is treated with rooting hormone auxins. Rooting hormone that is auxins. I don't know whether you people have came across this term or not, but in the syllabus of 12th, I think there is a chapter plant growth in which you will come across the study of different plant growth hormones. At that time we shall discuss. But here also I want to tell you there are five major plant growth hormones such as auxins, gibberlin, cytokinin, ethylene, abscessic acid. Auxins, auxins, it includes so many different hormones such as Indole acetic acid IAA, indole butyric acid IBA, etc. So, the lower part of this stem cutting is treated with dilute IAA or IBA, which facilitates for the quick root formation. For the quick root formation, so that the plant can be established very quickly. In this manner, the stem cutting, this method is used or we can say the cutting, it is commonly used method of artificial vegetative propagation. All of you might be known that in sugarcane, the students who are from the farmer's family, they might be known very well. The sugarcane, the small pieces of sugarcane are used during the cultivation of sugarcane. In addition to that, the stem cutting is carried out in grapes, rose, bougainvillea, etc. etc. So here we have studied about the first method of artificial vegetative propagation that is cutting. Now let us move to the second method that is grafting. Second artificial vegetative propagation second method that is grafting now the grafting this method is also considered 
as the common method of vegetative propagation and it is described by ancient farmers ancient people also for the propagation of plants before the establishment of horticulture as a separate branch of bio try to understand हॉर्टिकल्चर जी जीवशास्त्रा की एक शाखा है ज्यादा फ्लावरिंग फ्रूट प्लांट्स की ग्रोथ कश करा संगोपन कस कर अभ्यास किया हॉर्टिकल्चर नावा जी जीवशास्त्रा की शाखा है ती निर्माण होने आधीपासन शेकड़ो वर्षांपूर्वीपासन अपने कड़े गठिका गा ग्राफ्टिंग हि जी पद्धत है तिचापर vegetative propagation sathi kela jato so now let us talk about the grafting kay ahe grafting samjun ghe in this method the parts of two different plants the parts of two different plants are joined together the parts of two different plants are joined together so that they can grow as a single plant they can grow as a single composite plant as one plant do you understand yacha artha grafting ya paddhati madhe don vegvegya vanaspatinche bhag ek mekala jodle jatat jene karun te doni bhag tancha madhe tissue connection establish zhalyanantar te doni वेगवेगळ्या वनस्पतीचे भाग जरी असले तरी ते एक सिंगल प्लांट म्हणून त्या ठिकाणी ग्रो होतील दे कॅन ग्रो एज अ सिंगल कंपोजिट प्लांट नाव जनरली द ग्राफ्टिंग इज डन बिटवीन द टू क्लोजली रिलेटेड अँड डाय कॉटिलिडॉनस अँजिओस्पर्मिक प्लांट्स टू क्लोजली रिलेटेड अँड डाय कॉटिलिडॉनस अँजिओस्पर्मिक प्लांट्स try to understand it means the grafting is not possible in monocot plants why this is so because during grafting vascular cambium this tissue is very important tumcha lakshat asel nasel ba mait nahi pan iyatta 11 ve madhe apan plant tissue shikat astanna meristematic tissue shiklo hai meristematic tissue meristematic tissue che prakar shiklo hai apical meristem लॅटरल मेरिस्टेम इंटर कॅलरी मेरिस्टेम आणि तुम्हाला माहित आहे की लॅटरल मेरिस्टेमलाच कॅम्बियम टिश्यू असं म्हणतात आणि हा कॅम्बियम टिश्यू मोनोपॉट प्लांट्समध्ये एक बीजपत्री वनस्पतीमध्ये नसतो की जो ग्राफ्टिंगसाठी आवश्यक आहे आणि म्हणून मोनोपॉट प्लांट्समध्ये एक बीजपत्री वनस्पतीमध्ये ग्राफ्टिंग शक्य नाही तर आत्ता मी असं म्हणत होतो की ग्राफ्टिंग इज कॅरीड आउट बिटवीन द टू closely related plants belonging to dicot angiosperms now during grafting i said just now the two parts of two different plants are joined here the plant or plant part which provides root supporting system the plant part which provides root supporting system is known as stock plant please try to understand the meaning of these terms i said that during grafting the plant part or the plant which provides root supporting system is known as stock is considered as a stock or known as the stock and the part of another plant which is to be joined which is to be grafted on the stock is known as cn is known as cn i am going to explain it don't worry now consider here is supposed to be any plant just imagine here is supposed to be any plant and here is another plant just consider b and a now if we want to join the part of b part of b on a it means that the b is considered as cn 
and the A is considered as a stock. So what does it mean? Stock means the plant portion of plant or the plant part on which CN is to be grafted and the stock it provides root supporting system. Now generally the stock plant considered uh, sorry the stock plant selected as wild variety wild variety you know wild means naturally growing variety naisargi krita vadnari vanaspati chi za why because this stock plant this wild variety shows different beneficial characters such as it can withstand so many different adverse conditions we can say it has well developed root system it can withstand in drought conditions that is scarcity of water arthat tancha madhe mula he vikasit astat pani jari kami uplabdha asla tari suddha te tya thikani tap dharu shakta te show natural insect and pest resistance tancha madhe veg vegla pest kitakan babat jiva jantun babat diseases babat naisargik rog pratikarak shamata aste ani manun asha prakar cha wild variety la stock plant manun select kele jato and the cn is selected from cn is selected as we can say the plant showing most of the desirable character commercially important characters say for example the wild variety of rose wild variety of rose is considered as a stock and the variety of rose showing desirable characters that is large colorful rose flowers is considered or is taken as a cn okay now during grafting during grafting the cut end of the stock and cut end of the cn are placed very close to each other and they are tied with each other very firmly very tightly with the help of string or with the help of we can say grafting tape now here i have prepared some models let me show you suppose consider suppose consider here is a consider here is supposed to be a portion of stock plant just consider it is a portion of stock plant apan asa kalpana karu ki ya thikani portion ahe stock plant cha portion ahe ठीक है आणि आता हा स्टॉक प्लांट का जो का पोर्शन है तला ये अपन व्ही आकारा नॉच के लिए हे कट्स कि नॉचेस वेगवेगर शेप नर संगे वेगवेग् शेप आता हाठिका हा जो कट एंड है व्ही शेप हा सीएन जो है वेज शेप कट के तो यठिका फिक्स के is what i want to tell you the cut end of stock and cut end of cn are joined together and and they are look in this manner in this manner okay and they are bound together with the help of string with the help of string ya dikani he je doni pieces ahe तो एकमेक स्ट्रिंग मदती धाग्या मदती घट्ट बधुन टाकले घट्ट बधुन टाकले अर्थात घट्ट बन द जॉइंट द जॉइंट बिट्वीन द स्टॉक एंड सी एन स्टॉक एंड सी एन हमला हा जो जॉइंट है इट इज कवर्ड विथ द हेल्प ऑफ क्ले अर्थ चिखल अपने भाषे मधे और ग्राफ्टिंग वैक्स वैक्स मेन ग्राफ्टिंग वैक्स बाजार उपलब्ध थर्ड दिला जो कशा सा टू प्रिवेट द इवेपोरेशन ऑफ वॉटर बिकॉज देर इज अ चांस ऑफ लॉस ऑफ वॉटर थ्रू दिस कट एंड पानी वाया जाऊ नए इवेपोरेशन हो डेसिकेशन हो मेना चाहिए चिखला चा थर दिला जो का दुसरा उपयोग पड़े it also avoids the entry of pathogen through the cut ends the cut ends mudun pathogens aat madhe jau nahi infection hu nahi tyasathi to cut ends he cover karna garjecha asto 
Now, after a few days, a parenchymatous tissue develops in between stalk and CN. Stalk and CN chamade parenchyma ha tissue grow hoto, develop hoto, tala callus asapan manta, so that there is a tissue to tissue, we can say tissue to tissue connection between the stalk and CN and these both grow as a single composite plant. But one most important point here I want to tell you. During grafting, the birds present on the stalk, birds present on the stalk are completely removed. Stalk or asnareje birds se the purna kalun takle zato. Ani CN or je birds se they are kept intact. CN or je birds he intact hone zato. Ka karon apne aur growth kona chhi gudu nana hi chhe. Obviously of CN and that's what this uh, we can say uh, technique is implemented here. Now there are different we can say types of grafting. Grafting cha big big la hai. Cha apne la syllabus madhe abhya sala dille la nahi hai. But tensa yeh thi kani me nava samtu such as tongue grafting. It is also called as the whip grafting. Then second second type that is wedge grafting. This crown grafting. And it's south side grafting. Ya char prakaran madhe. Tongue and wedge grafting madhe. The thickness or diameter of stalk and seal is almost similar. But in side and crown grafting, the diameter or thickness of stalk is very big and the diameter of CN is very less so that on a single stalk, many CN can be inserted. Here are four different types of grafting. Now, the third type of artificial vegetative propagation that is tissue culture. The study of plant tissue culture is given in our another chapter in the syllabus of 12th that is enhancement in food production at that time we shall study in very detail about the technique of tissue culture about the different applications of tissue culture etc and therefore here we have to talk very briefly plant tissue culture it is a technique in which the cells or tissue or organ of any desirable plant variety is isolated, separated from the parent plant and it is grown in laboratory on artificial nutrient medium, artificial culture medium under ideal and controlled condition. The students who have studied in Marathi medium you should know tissue culture is known as Uti Samvardhan. Just in this technique, in this technique, few cells or tissue or small part of the plant showing desirable characters. Jawanaspati Made Samlet Samle Gundarma. Asha Vanaspati Sa Lahan Sa Bhak. किंवा त्याच्या काही पेशी होती त्या वनस्पतीपासून वेगळ्या केल्या जातात आयसोलेट केल्या जातात आणि त्यांची प्रयोगशाळेमध्ये आर्टिफिशियल न्यूट्रिएंट मीडियम मध्ये आर्टिफिशियल कल्चर मीडियम मध्ये वाढ घडून आणली जाते अंडर आयडियल कंडिशन्स कंट्रोल कंडिशन हाऊ इज दैट टेक्निक दैट वी शॉल स्टडी इन डिटेल इन चैप्टर एनहान्समेंट इन फूड प्रोडक्शन एंड देयरफॉर हियर आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टॉक मच मोर just as I said, there are many applications of plant tissue culture. One of them is micropropagation. Micropropagation. And actually, with the help of this, we can say technique and micropropagation, the different plants showing most of the desirable characters they can be multiplied, they can be propagated within a very short time and limited space. Atishai Kami Kalavadi Made, Atishai Kami Kalavadi Made, 
आणि थोड्या जागेमध्ये सुद्धा काही वनस्पतींचं हे मल्टिप्लिकेशन प्रोपोगेशन घडवून आणलं जातं तर त्याचा अभ्यास आपल्याला पुढच्या चॅप्टरमध्ये दिलाय या ठिकाणी आपल्याला याच्याबाबत थोडंसंच बोलायचं होतं सो हिअर वी हॅव स्टडीड नाव द आर्टिफिशियल व्हेजिटेटिव्ह प्रोपोगेशन या ठिकाणी आपला आर्टिफिशियल व्हेजिटेटिव्ह प्रोपोगेशनच्या ज्या तीन पद्धती आहेत त्यांचा अभ्यास पूर्ण झालेला आहे आणि असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शनच्या लोअर आणि हायर प्लांट्समध्ये ज्या वेगवेगळ्या पद्धती आहेत त्यांचा अभ्यास आपण इथे पूर्ण केला आहे We have completed here the study of different types and subtypes of asexual reproduction seen in lower as well as higher plants. And therefore, now we are going to move to the most important topic that is sexual reproduction. I think it is not necessary to share with you again what is sexual reproduction because all of you are aware and already in my last lecture we have discussed about the sexual reproduction. We know that sexual reproduction it is a type of reproduction in which sexes are involved, sex cells are involved, gametes are involved. मिओसिस इज इन्वॉल्व फर्टिलाइजेशन इज कैरिड आउट झायकोड फॉर्मेशन टेक प्लेस एंड ऐज ड्यूरिंग सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन सेक्सेस सेक्सेल्स और गैमेट्स आर इन्वॉल्व देर फॉर इट इज नोन ऐज सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन नाउ हियर वे पीपल हैव टू स्टडी अबाउट सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन हायर प्लांट्स दैट इज इन एंजियोस्कोप्स या ठिकाणी आपल्याला सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन हायर प्लांट्स फ्लॉवरिंग प्लांट्स अँजिओस्पोमचा अभ्यास करायचा आहे आय वुड लाईक टू टेल यू इन हायर प्लांट्स से इन अँजिओस्पोम द लाईफ सायकल द लाईफ सायकल शोज टू ग्रोथ फेजेस द लाईफ सायकल ऑफ अँजिओस्पोम शोज टू ग्रोथ फेजेस two growth phases such as we can see vegetative growth phase vegetative growth phase and second reproductive growth phase vegetative growth phase and reproductive growth phase actually name itself indicate vegetative growth phase means it is the phase of growth in the life cycle of plant during which it occurs the growth of vegetative plant parts that is the growth of root stem leaves etc we know after seed germination after seed germination it starts the vegetative growth अर्थात सीड जर्मिनेशन झाल्यानंतर बीजांकुरण झाल्यानंतर त्या ठिकाणी वनस्पतीची व्हेजिटेटिव्ह ग्रोथ सुरू होते आणि व्हेजिटेटिव्ह प्लांट पार्ट त्या ठिकाणी ग्रो होतात सच एज रूट स्टेम अँड लिव्ह ना आफ्टर द कम्प्लिशन ऑफ व्हेजिटेटिव्ह ग्रोथ फेज इट स्टार्ट द सेकंड ग्रोथ फेज दॅट इज रिप्रोडक्टिव्ह ग्रोथ फेज अँड रिप्रोडक्टिव्ह ग्रोथ फेज इज मार्क बाय फ्लॉवरिंग reproductive growth phase is marked by flowering that is during reproductive growth phase it occurs the development of flowers because we know what is flower flower manje kay he aple sagalyanna maite hai in 11th we have studied in very detail about the structure of flower about the definition of flower then and then here i am going to repeat and going to talk briefly we know that in flowering plants in angiosperms the flower is considered as specialized reproductive plant part 
mean for the process of sexual reproduction. I hope you do remember. The flower is considered as specialized reproductive plant part in which sexual reproduction is carried out. Malawatta vakhya apne la atholi ase. Kiwa dechi definition, flower chi definition vebya paddhati ne pada pun shikla. Flower is highly modified condensed shoot. It is highly modified condensed shoot. Mean for the process of sexual reproduction. Now, what are the parts and sub parts of flower that already we have studied in our 11th class? Then and then, I am going to talk briefly. No problem and don't worry. So, I was telling you the life cycle of angiosperms shows two growth phases that is, vegetative growth phase followed by reproductive growth phase. Now, here let us recall about the structure of flower and some major parts of the flower. You know that the typical flower, typical flower consists of four major worlds. Four major worlds. Floral parts babat me bolat nahi. Fakta floral words babat bolto hai. Ane aapne la atho da se ki sarva sadharan flower madhe char words dista. Jan naapad floral words mandu. Such as we can say the calyx. Corolla. Andracium. Yes, gynecium. Gynecium. We know that out of these four worlds, the outermost world is calyx, inside it corolla, inside it andracium, and the innermost world is gynecium. Now, as we have studied in 11, the calyx and corolla, calyx and corolla, these are sterile worlds. Sterile in the sense they cannot take part in the process of sexual reproduction. Calyx and corolla, these two worlds cannot take part in the process of sexual reproduction. And that's why we know these calyx and corolla are considered as supporting worlds. Supporting worlds. Or these may be called as the helping worlds. Or may be called as accessory words. Accessory words. Why? Because the calyx and corolla actually does not take part in the process of sexual reproduction. They only support the process of sexual reproduction. While the andracium and gynacium, andracium and gynacium are considered as essential words. essential words right or these may be called as the reproductive words because because andracium and gynacium actually take part in the process of sexual reproduction so here let us talk about the andracium let us talk about the male reproductive world essential world it lies just inside the corolla it is also known as male reproductive world male reproductive world all of you are aware now here the single individual unit of 
and ratio is known as stamen. Single individual unit of endrasium is known as stamen, isn't it? Arthat endrasium cha eka gatakala. We can say single individual unit, structural and functional unit of endrasium may be known as the stamen. Let us talk briefly about the structure of stamen. You know that the stamen is also known as microsporophyll. Microsporophyll. What does it mean? In 11th we have studied microsporophyll. Here microsporo, this word stands for microspore and feel this word stands for leaf or leaf like structure leaf or leaf like structure means what is stamen stamen is stamen is microspore producing modified leaf Microspore producing modified leaf or leaf like structure. Microspore is nothing but the pollen grain. Paragocal pollen grain. I should achieve actually, is it? Now, we know that the stamen, typical stamen, consists of two main parts, such as the anther and filament. Anther and filament. Sarva Sadharan Pane Stamen Che Don Pramukh Bhaguta Anther and Filament. Filament it is lower, slender, thin or thick, either short or long, thread like and sterile part. Let me show. Suppose here is the filament. Just imagine. The filament is lower part of the stamen. It is either thin or thick. It is either short or long, somewhat cylindrical and sterile part. Sterile in the sense it has not capacity to produce the pollen grains. Why the anther? Anther, it is upper sac like structure. Upper sac like structure. Upper sac like structure. It is fertile part. Anther is fertile part because in anther the pollen grains or microspores are produced. Pollen grains or microspores are born. Current ya anther madhe paragakarn pollen grains or microspores tayar hotat manun tera fertile part manta. Now in majority of the angiospermic plants, in majority of the angiospermic plants, this anther is bilobed. Listen. The anther is bilobed. Anther is bilobed. Name itself indicate. Bi stands for two lobes. Two lobes. Let me show. Suppose these are the two lobes. Two lobes. Bilobed anther. These two lobes are connected with each other from the posterior side by means of a tissue also called connective and along the anterior side it simply show a groove which can demarcate both lobes and then how to bilobe the anther ahe to connective ya parenchymatous tissue mule ek mekala doni lobe zodlele asta and here is supposed to be the filament now if we took the ts of such bilobed anther that's a detail of this apply la his way but zara apun ya bilobed anther cha the ts ghetla ta sarva sadharan apne la asa dista ya thikani baga here are two lobes of anther in ts now each lobe each anther lobe enclose enclose two somewhat cylindrical sac-like structures 
Sí. याचा अर्थ प्रत्येक एंथरलोब मध्ये दोन सिलेंड्रिकल सॅक लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स असतात दीज सॅक लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स आर कॉल्ड ॲज ओलन सॅक्स त्यांना ओलन सॅक्स असे म्हणतात इट मीन्स इन बायलोब्ड एंथर देयर आर प्रेझेंस ऑफ फोर ओलन सॅक्स फोर ओलन सॅक्स ऍक्च्युअली द ओलन सॅक्स आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ॲज माइक्रोस्पोरेंजिया माइक्रोस्पोरेंजिया ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड माइक्रोस्पोरेंजिया वाई दे आर कॉल्ड माइक्रोस्पोरेंजिया बिकॉज इन दीज पोलन सैक्स द माइक्रोस्पोर्स और पोलन ग्रेन आर बॉर्न आर फॉर्म कारण यह सैक्स मध्य जन्ना माइक्रोस्पोरेंजिया मन तो जन्ना पोलन सैक्स मन तो त्यांच्यामध्ये मायक्रोस्पोर किंवा पोलनग्रेन्स हे जन्म घेणार आहे आता आपल्या लक्षात आलं असेल की इन सच बायलोब्ड अँथर ॲज देर आर फोर पोलन सॅक्स फोर मायक्रोस्पोरेंजिया देर फॉर सच बायलोब्ड अँथर इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ॲज टेक्ट्रास्पोरेंजिएट अँथर टेक्ट्रास्पोरेंजिएट टेक्ट्रा स्टँड फॉर फोर Sporangiate stands for the microsporangia. Now at maturity, what happens? Javela ha anther mature hutu. Javela ya pollen sacs mode, microsporangia mode, microspores taya hutu. Tianunter, the pollen sacs, two pollen sacs of each anther lobe, they fuse together. Look. Eka anther lobe mode asnare haja don pollen sacs, take me kala, fusum zata. या ठिकाणी पण मी दाखवू शकेल की या अँथरलोब मधले पण दोन पोलन सॅक्स एकमेकाला फ्यूज होऊन गेले म्हणजे आता ऍट मॅच्युरिटी देर आर ओनली टू चेंबर्स इन दिस बायलोब अँथर ठीक आहे ऍट मॅच्युरिटी द पोलन सॅक्स टू पोलन सॅक्स इन इच अँथरलोब फ्यूज टुगेदर टू फॉर्म अ सिंगल चेंबर सो ऑबियसली नाव इन सच बायलोब अँथर देर आर टू चेंबर्स there are two chambers and therefore such bilobed anther is also called as dithicus dithicus di stands for two theca stands for chambers theca stands for chambers okay but in some angiospermic plants say the plants belonging to family malvesi प्लांट्स बिलॉंगिंग टू फॅमिली मालवेसी कदाचित आपल्याला काही आठवलं असेल फॉर एक्झाम्पल चायना रोज हिबिस्कस रोजा सायनेन्सिस जास्वंद तर अशा वनस्पतींमध्ये मालवेसी या फॅमिलीमध्ये येणाऱ्या ज्या एन्जोस्पर्मिक प्लांट्स आहेत त्यांच्यामध्ये जो अँथर असतो तो मात्र सिंगल लोब्ड असतो तो मात्र सिंगल लोब्ड असतो मला वाटतं हे आपल्या लक्षात आलं असेल बायलोब्ड अँथर म्हणजे काय त्याला टेट्रास्पोरेंजिएट का म्हणतात किंवा त्याला डायथिकस असं का म्हणतात आता मी तुम्हाला सांगत होतो की चायना रोज सारख्या किंवा मालवेसी या फॅमिलीत येणाऱ्या ज्या वनस्पती आहेत त्यांच्यामध्ये अँथर हा सिंगल लोब्ड असतो अर्थात त्याला एकच लोब आहे मग जर एकच लोब आहे अँथरला जर एकच लोब आहे तर त्याच्यामध्ये पोलन सॅक्स किती असतील व्हेरी सिंपल ॲज देअर इज अ सिंगल लोब सो इन दॅट सिंगल लोब देर आर प्रेझेन्स ऑफ ओनली टू पोलन सॅक्स एम आर राईट म्हणजे त्याच्यामध्ये असतील फक्त दोन पोलन सॅक्स म्हणजे जर समजा आपण या अँथरचा टी एस घेतला तर आपल्या लक्षात येईल की त्याच्यामध्ये फक्त दोन पोलन सॅक्स आहेत Let me show here diagrammatically. अच्छा मतलब दोनों स्पोर्टन सेक्स हैं, दोनों स्पोर्टन सेक्स हैं। जैसा अपन पाया कि in bilobed anther there are four pollen sacs, but here in monolobed anther there are two pollen sacs. So this monolobed anther 
is also called as bisporangiate. This is monolobe anther and it is called bi or disporangiate. Do you understand? Di or bi stands for two and sporangiate stands for microsporangia. How many microsporangia, how many pollen sites are here? Only two. And as I told you earlier, these pollen sites fuse together during maturity. So let me show. Suppose these pollen sites, both pollen sites fuse together to form a single chamber. Therefore, there is a single chamber. Now there is a single chamber. In mature anther, therefore, therefore, it may be called as monothecus. Monothecus. Take it. Yatikari me stamens thodkya structure sangathutu. Now we have to study about the development of anther. Anther kasa develop hutu. Te ata yatikari ni aplela pudi shikai sa. Anther madhe pollen grains kasha tayar hutu. Pollen grains ka structure kasa. Te pan aplela shikai sa. So, we shall study it in our next lecture. So, let us stop here.